our way, Bum. Beat it. Five times I've got fresh hot pies. Fooled by my fresh hot pies. I've got apple, beef, strawberry pies. I've got coconut custard and lemon cream. I make still more. If we paid the rent, maybe we could complain. How can a good girl pay the rent these days? When those boys finally do get a job, they'll be too worn out to play. Why don't you tell that to speak? I can't hear myself think. Have you ever tried to tell a musician anything wrong? Oh, the musician! <laughs> <laughs> We've got our reputations to protect. What reputation? Look out, Lomax. Montu's got a run. Turn him over. Turn him over. Turn him over. Bring him back in there. Bring him back in there, boy. Turn him over. Turn him over. Turn him over. Turn him over. Max. Out of the way. Stand back. What's the matter with you two jokers? Ain't there enough strife in this world without you starting a private war? I didn't want to fight. I didn't want any trouble. Boy, oh, give me some lip, Chief, and I ain't taking that off of no foreigner. All right, you can both tell it to the captain. Just a minute, officer. Montoot here don't mean any harm, and you know the condition of this fellow Lomax. I know all about it, and I'm fed up with it. Please give them another chance. I promise you that it won't happen again. If you say so, Mr. Wilkins, I'll do it for you. Thank Don't you. ever let me catch you at this again. Go on, I said. Get moving. Party's over. Break it up. Break it up. Come on, get back to your work. You ain't got time to stand out here all night and look at them cats fighting out there in the alley. All right? We can get back to our rehearsal. Break it up. Oh, keep on going. I saw what you did, Paul Wilkins. I'm not a citizen yet. It would have been hard on me without your help. I knew that, Montoot. That's why I hid the gun. We couldn't have talked the cops out of this. You'd better get rid of it, son. Guess you're right. Thank you, Paul Wilkins. Hello, Sister Harry. Oh, hello, Pa. Did Lomax beat him up there? Oh, he'll be all right, Sister Harry. Another fight. 
Another fight. Ain't there never gonna be no peace for us, huh? Peace just don't happen, Sister Hattie. It's something we got to work for and earn. Appears to me like everybody's working the wrong way. <laughs> I expect you're right, Sister Hattie. Hello, Mom. You look pretty tired. Let me take that. Why don't you get wise to yourself, Mercedes? You can't make a decent living peddling your wares on the streets. You've got to be a real businesswoman. The Better Business League will show you how. I sure am tired of standing on the streets. Oh, of course you are. What you need is a nice store, nice counter, comfortable seats for you to sit on, shiny cash register, and you in a nice, neat uniform. That's what the Better Business League advocates. But I've been doing this kind of business all my life. And where has it got you? Well, I got a little money saved up. If I thought it was the right thing to do... I can prove it's the right thing for you to do. Let me show you something. Look at this. For your rent. Let anyone I know, see darling, but you've got to marry me. Do you understand? You've got to marry me. Sure, I understand. Sure. What did you think? Only we can't talk about it now, can we? I'm sorry, but I've been so frightened. There ain't nothing to be frightened about. No, no, of course there isn't. I was foolish to worry. Sure, honey, we'll straighten this whole thing out. Oh, then, then you'll meet me tonight, the usual place? I'll be there. You get a hold of yourself and... Run along upstairs. I don't want to... It isn't foolish. It's the most practical thing in the world. Is that your own figuring? Yes, it is. I want to teach where there's real work to be done. Not here in Harlem. Now, that sounds just like that phony Bachelor of Arts you've been running around with. No, that's the truth. You never had those ideas until you met this fellow Gregory. I don't like him. I don't like the way he's making you think, Ola. Catch wise, kid. That joker hasn't got sense enough to wear a hat. Acting like he knows everything. Strutting around like he owned all the cotton in Augusta. That's not fair, Pa. Greg's smart, and he's got a good education. He'll make a fine teacher. I'd like to teach him a couple of things. Oh, you would, would you? That's just the way I'd expect you to talk. You can't understand a man like Greg. He's fine. He wants to work for our people and educate them. Why, Jim Braxton, you haven't one ounce of his courage and character. Oh, no. Jim's a member of this family. Don't you talk to him like that. I am old enough to pick my own friend. And Greg's my friend. I don't want to hear him run down. She's got a sharp tongue. She didn't mean to hurt you, boy. You know that. You're like my own son. I've been thinking about you and your father all day, Jim. I guess we weren't a bad-looking pair of soldiers, him and I. I look like him, don't I? Just like him. And every time I look at you, I think of him and how I owe my life to him back there in the Argo. I know. We used to plan and plan, him and I, for our two kids to, well, marry each other when they grew up. Hmm. Oh, and I ain't even on speaking terms. Maybe if you stayed around 
a little bit more, you two would get along better. Yeah, maybe. Anyhow, I'll try. I promise. And when I make a promise, you can take my word for it. Perfect, sir. And when I make a promise, you can take my word for it. Can you prove it? Can I? Get in the groove, baby. But I'm not in the mood to be picked. Say, I dug you when I first lamped you. But I don't dig you, Jack. Oh, I wouldn't jive you, baby. Cause you're fine as mine. You're not so bad yourself, Jim Braxton. Come on, Judica. You're meeting me after you're through here. There's your music out there, honey. You better pick it up on the downbeat. Okay, mad genius. Polishing up your latest symphony? Stick around, Jim. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, baby. I'm trying to forget you. I'm not going to let you endanger my poor aching heart with your charms, with your wrongs. I'm trying to forget to the day that I met you, the way that you smiled when we kissed, how I missed all that bliss, it had to be done, and you had your fun, but now I'm crying, trying to Does a new face make you forget old friends? Oh, hello, Marshal. I'm just having a little diversion. So am I. Say. How's that business league of yours doing? Boy, it's jumping. All the merchants are cooperating. Why, stores are remodeling and putting in new fixtures. Business is improving. Looks like you're doing all right. Can't complain. Ah, what'd it be, brother? Brown bomber. Hi, uh, Dad. I said brown bomber. Is you sure? Sure, I'm sure. This ain't double talking. Say, what is this? Give me a brown bomber. All right, all right, you get it.
don't taste like no ground farmer. The days that I met you, but it's good. That you uh, smiled now that's different. How I made all that bliss. It had to be done. And you have your fun. But now I'm crying. Trying to That's a killer. One for the lady. One for us. We all know you can't compete with others unless you have a good, decent-looking place of business, madam. Never mind that madam stuff. This woman can't grasp the principles of better business. But I can grasp a crook when I spot one. Why, he's been getting a rake-off on a lot of those high-priced things I and you and a lot of shop owners have been buying. That's a lie. It is not, my friend. Mistress Mercy Deeds can prove. Shut up, you dirty foreigner. Everyone knows I'm not a liar. <laughs> you get out, Marshal. If you know what's good for you, then we'll have a better business league. I lost my orders on me now. Took me a whole year to get this outfit where I wanted it. It took that woman five minutes to bust it up. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to shut up. Those fools listening to that woman. After all the work I did for them. Well, for yourself, too. So what? Why not? I was entitled to something for all that work I did. They kicked me out in the cold, too. Ain't you gonna get even? Of course I'm gonna get even. I'm gonna get the league back, too. I'll just pull my punches and I'll find out what they're gonna do. Come on. Yeah, honey. I sure am glad Marshall got the air. And I ain't a bit sorry either, cause I have to give it to him. Yeah. I guess lots of us feel that way about it. But say, what's gonna happen to the league? Well, I guess we have to get someone else to run it. I wonder who could do it. I don't know. Say, I think I've got an idea. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, I think Paul Wilkins is the one to take care of the league. Me too. There's nobody else. Now, don't you go around talking about it. You see what the other girls have to say about it. Paul Wilkins is the best man you can get. He's okay by me. You can bet. Yeah, he's a straight shooter, all right. Paul Wilkins? Sure. That's swell. I like the idea. So you think he's okay? Do I think it? I know it. Best man for the job. Uh, you see, a man of my social standing and my musical experience, I must have a day off for relaxation. So that's the reason I'm taking the evening off for my bartender's job. You know, I'm not a guy that talks about myself I always let the other fella do the talking and I reap the benefits. <laughs> There's a heap of talking I could do about you. What did you write after that? Well, uh, I wrote Cab Calloway's new hit. How interesting. Why, Cab is one of my great admirers. The only cab you know is a 20 cent a mile one. And then there's Duke Ellington. He wants me to arrange his new school. And there's uh, Count Basie. He wants me to fix up his too. In fact, everybody wants the great Flipper. Oh, Flipper! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Now you see that? There? There's Speed downstairs yelling for me. It seems like I'm just too much in demand for my social obligations. We'll see you later, girls. I bet the only obligations he's got is a lot of IOUs. I am the great sliver. <laughs> great. Yeah, he is. 
Yeah, yeah. Here you is now. But where was you when you wasn't where you was? Well, I was working on that great symphonical arrangement. Let me see. Let... See, I, I had it. What could I do with it? Let me see. There it is. Big symphonical. Get inside and tend to your business and stay away from them show chicks upstairs. Too. I'm late for dinner. Yes. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to an early movie. You better run along. Sister Hattie, I almost forgot. You know, uh, Decoration Day is Pa's birthday? Yes, I remember. I want to have a surprise party for him. Will you help? Why, sure. Why not have everyone waiting for him when he comes home from the parade? And it would be the right time to tell him about the league. That's a great idea. It'll be a really big day for Pa. And his gal. Well, it's late again. Hello, Jim. Hello, Pa. Hola, oh, honey. Why are you so late? Then it's getting cold. I'm sorry. I lost track of the time. Running around with that Gregory fellow again, I guess. When are you going to stop this foolishness? Must we go over that again? Maybe the girl's tired, Pa. Now I'll be ready in a minute. I guess no, that teacher's filling her head full of going south ideas. I just couldn't stand it if she went away and left us, Jim. I know how you feel, Pa. You know about Ola's trust fund, don't you? Well, that'll be yours the day you marry her. Uh, well, I don't need no extra inducement to marry Ola. I know, son. How could you help falling in love with her? I guess I have been paying enough attention to her. I'll make it clear I want to marry her. That's it. You've been wasting time. I think I have. Ola, Ola, hurry. I've got something to tell you. That's it, boy. And of course, the trust one will be yours when you get married. Oh, so you told him about that. Well, that doesn't mean anything to Jim. Not much. It's you that means everything, Ola. Ola, honey, it's been a dream of mine since you were a little child that you and Jim should marry. But I... I don't love Jim. You can learn to love me, Ola. You'll see. You've never disobeyed me in your life. You're not going to do it now, are you? Pa, you just simply must let me lead my own life. Do my work. Give me time. Let me think. Well, I'd better leave you two alone. See you later. Jim. Jim, darling. Are you hanging around here again? I told you not to. But I waited for you last night for hours. Oh, I got tied up on business. But we can't wait much longer. We've got to get married. Soon. Soon, Jim. Otherwise, I don't know what I'll do. Say you'll marry me right away. Say it, Jim. Don't you trust me? I didn't mean that. Of course I trust you. I love you, Jim. Then don't rush me. Oh, baby, take it easy. Give me a little time. But, Jim, you don't know. With Ma watching me and, and the way I feel, why, the minutes seem like years. Don't whine. I hate that. I'm sorry. I'll be patient. Say so you'll forgive me, Jim. considering going through with this just to please your father. No, how can I? Feeling the way I do about him. But I don't want to hurt him. I can't. Well, there must be some way out. 
Perhaps if he really got to know you. I'd be satisfied if he just liked me. I could only get a chance to talk to him, though. Then come to the birthday party. Oh, I'm afraid your father wouldn't want me there. It'll be a chance for him to know you better. I promise you'll come. All right, I promise. Braxton? Not fit, but uh, he's round about this time, though. Well, set him a flipper. I guess we'll stick around for a while. Thank you, sir. Freedom. Can that freedom stuff. I'm thinking about the lead. What are you thinking on doing with Jim Braxton? Very simple. You mean Paul Wilkins' gal? Ain't that enough? Pardon me, Mr. Marshall. You're wanted on the phone. Thanks. Stick around. In case Braxton comes in, you flag him. Freedom. I said freedom. I heard you. Well, it's a password. Why don't you answer me? Don't answer me, Frank. Sir, let them folks alone. Why, you... Oh, man. Yes, folks. Come on, Greg. Let's go. All right, Doc. This is where you do your research, wait for the benefit of the South. Now, hold on, Braxton. This is entirely our affair. Paul Wilkins don't think so, and neither do I. This is my girl. I am marrying Ola. Come on. Same as you, Mr. Right. Hello, Marshal. Looks like Paul Wilkins' gal has given you the works. Oh, yeah? Sure. Now that Pa's taken the league over, why, the family don't need you anymore. What do you mean? Oh, it's very simple. Ola will have everything she wants, and the boyfriend will walk right in. Pa Wilkins is still in my corner. I wouldn't be too sure about that. He'll be too busy with the league. That is, of course, if he does get the league. Meaning what? Meaning that somebody ought to see to it that he don't. Sounds easy. It is easy with my help. We both got an extra grind. How about joining forces? Set him up, Flipper. Mr. Braxton and I are going into business together. <laughs> <laughs> Passing by, babe. Just passing by, you little ice cream cone. Some guys don't know the difference between passing by and making passes. Well, we are practically neighbors, ain't we? That's what comes of living in a cheap house. Anything can come pestering around. Ain't no privacy at all. Are we deciding to have that house rent party? Or are we moving again? The house rent party, of course. What about decoration day? That'll knock them out and me hand me my dress. Well, girls, we'd better start passing the word around. Did I hear you say house rent party? Did I hear you say house rent party? But listen, leave it to me. Let me be your business manager and I'll guarantee you turn away business. Of course, we only want guys with money. Leave that to me, too. With my connection, I can get you all the liquor you want, and then I can uh, keep the police out of here, too. See, and I'll play my symphonical arrangement. And I'll play it as I never played before. Oh, Flipper. Flipper! I can never finish nothing I've done. Girls, I will see y'all later. I will see you later, girls. Yeah, yes. A 
man never gets a minute to his business. Now, don't give me that business stuff. You was up there with them show gals. Get inside and tend to your week. Go ahead. What's the job I'm going to quit this one. Hello, sugar. Hello, darling. Please, come on in here. You're holding up this little hood. Day parade there ever was. Maybe you shouldn't march anymore, Pa. Me? I'll march as long as I can stay. Marching feet, all the boys there beside me, just like it was at the Argo. Oh, good to rest my bones. That's right, Pa. Rest. All day I kept remembering the bursting shells and the noise. We were blind with smoke and death from the sound of the guns. Oh, you're kind to your old daddy, Ola. And yet, the boys kept on fighting. Until Jim's pa got his, the parade always brings it back. Oh, my 
goodness. Come on, y'all. I'm going to just drop in my goodness. The government is calling all the gold, so why shouldn't we call it all the gold? How about copper? Taking them in, too? The first one that puts pennies in goes out. Huh. Then part it in success. You won't have any ceiling over here. Well, madam, I wish I had a been playing a juice off. Well, you have no idea how good you're helping the cause. Go on, they don't care nothing about cause. All they care about is effect. <laughs> Decoration Day, the birthday of our first eviction. And the offering to our Mr. Flipper Johnson to take hold of the musical situation. Ah, this is my complete entrance for this evening. Because I am the big music man around here, so I hereby accept the nomination. And I accept the nomination. <laughs> That could hold high account to you. Why, Mr. Wilkins, everybody in Harlem loves you. And what's more, we got respect for him. You right. 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 Everybody's pulling for you, Pa. Well, I, I'm deeply honored at the confidence you're placing in me. And I'll give you everything that's in me. And work for the League with my whole heart. And with your cooperation, We'll put over the Better Business League and make Harlem the prosperous, progressive place it should be.
to get even with me. That's what I said. Why, women has been chasing me for years and years. They smother me and they blitz me with their smile in their face. But they ain't had the kind of loving that I've been dishing out. Well, they called me the chocolate-colored Romeo from East, West, North, and South. They should come to me for information. So you read my mail. And what I know about you, son, is going to land you straight in jail. <clears throat> and so you don't like publicity. No, baby, I sure But don't. you have gone too far. It's time that folks were knowing you for what you are. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mr. Wilkins. My best wishes on your birthday. My friends have congratulated me already. Believe me, Mr. Wilkins, no one is more sincere in his good wishes to you than I am. Good wishes? Does it wishes mean good, filling my daughter's head with ideas about leaving me? Please, Pa. But, Mr. Wilkins, you're a big man. You can see that the work down south needs people like Ola. And so do the work here, and I need them. And we never had no disagreements about that until she met you. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. Wilkins. But give me a chance to make you change your mind. No, I don't want your kind around here. But, Mr. Wilkins, I love Ola. Get out of this place. I want to marry Ola. You heard what Pa said. Get out. Please, Greg. And you may as well understand, Jim Braxton is going to marry Ola. Now get out and stay out. Well, uh, <laughs> what about going on with the fun? Some fun. <laughs> what you know about that? I'm just as I can be. What you know about that? The only drink I drink is lemon and tea. What you know about that? It took one look for me to know that I had stumbled into love and now it's got me. There's nothing I can do about it but oh, love walked into my flash days. What you know about that? What you know about that? A bit of lemon and soda and a dash of lush. What do you know about that? A tempo al grotto is much too much. Do you dig the situation? Well, look her here. The maestro is also a connoisseur. But I have stumbled into love and now it's got me. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Love step into my flat face. What do you know about that? There was only some way out. You've got to make up your mind right away, Ola. I don't know what to do. But it's so simple, darling. Your father wants you to marry a man whom you don't love and don't trust. But you do love and trust me, don't you? But you're leaving out one important thing. My pa. It would break his heart. But what about your heart if you married Braxton? Greg, I can't. I can't. Please, Ola, I wish you would see it my way. Now, wouldn't Pa be pleased if he knew about this? Mind your own business, Jim. You're in my business now, honey, and I won't have you running around with this phone anymore. Listen, Jim Braxton. You listen. Be careful that I don't push those big brains of yours down to your feet. I wouldn't advise you to try it. Greg, don't, please. Please, Jim. Okay. I won't mess up your ex-boyfriend's pretty face. And I mean ex-boyfriend. Say goodbye to him and you better mean it. Ola is taking no orders from you, Jim. Why, you cheap chiseler. 
We're getting married right away and we're going south. Come along. I now pronounce you man and wife. Greg and I married today on our way south. Please forgive us. We're right. Love. Oh. Don't take it so hard, Pa. She loves Gregory. She'll be happy. But how could she leave without a word? I guess she thought it was useless to tell you. You don't understand, Sister Hattie. You never had a child of your flesh shame you. I... I do know. My child has shamed me. What you mean? Rosalia. She... She... Rosalia? I tried every way to find out. But you know she's tightening and swear she'll never tell me. Oh, Sister Hattie, so you've got trouble too. But I'm not turning my back on my child because she made a mistake. She needs me more now than ever. You're a good woman, Sister Hattie. We should try to understand and help our children. And help each other. That's right. Maybe I can help you. There's work to be done in Harlem. I've got an idea. Come on. I'm sick of the whole affair. What are you squawking about? Look what you promised me when you got your hands on that truck, Aces. I'll get the dough yet. And until then, you expect me to waste my precious time? Say, what are you driving at? Oh, nothing. Listen, baby, you gotta stick with me. You'll get everything I promise you. I'll get the money. I'm not the patient kind. Hello, Jim. Hello, Marshall. Hello, Judica. Well, if it ain't the worst of business, me. I'd like to talk to you, Jim. Sit down, Marshall. We can talk in front of Judica. Okay. Have a drink. Thanks. What's up? You've been thinking about my proposition since our last talk. I told you I couldn't go as far as that. Yeah, but you know we'd both be better off if certain people were out of the way. You mean? Supposing there was a new president of the league. And? Supposing I knew where you could lay your hands on some ready cash. Now, here's what we're going to do. The next meeting at Progress Hall. Oh, Rosalia. Pa, are you all alone? Yeah, honey, is there anything I can help you? Oh, no. No, Pa. Don't Jim stay around here anymore? No, honey, he ain't been around here for days. Ola's going away broke him up, I reckon. I see her. Sorry to trouble you. Oh, no trouble at all, honey. Good night, Pa. Good night, honey. Tell me more. You're going to get the finest clothes and the finest time and the finest loving. Beautiful, you drive me crazy. with that Lomax. Oh, it isn't set yet. Give it to me. Strong vibration right over this and set it off. Like uh, when Paul Wilkins pounds on the desk. I get you. Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. 
when I tell you to play, you got to give me just one award. Now I'll tell you what let's do. Let's take it from the left hand corner. Smoke, smoke. Pick it, don't spin it. Now wait, on second thought, we'll take it from letter B. Letter B. A B. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The man ain't waved a stick yet. Don't you know the language of the stick? I know a lot of language. Would you like to hear some? No, 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 that, that, that's all right, that's all right. Is we going to be ready to play for that next meeting or ain't we? You've got to give me your attention or I'll... Now, that's what I mean. If you was paying attention, you wouldn't have picked that doghouse in the wrong place. I want you to remember. When I am talking, I am what you've got to listen. Well, why don't you say something then? You. Where's that arrangement? Well, why don't you give that music out? Well, it was locked out of the right chair. I've been written on the thing all night long. You got it, Jay. You just give a man a chance, you get it for you. Lay it out for the boys. Now, here's the crescendo part. That's the crescendo right there. Rip that for us to rip. Now, let me see. Now, here's. Here's the last trumpet. Yeah, you you play that out. You make it out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You take that. Now, and this is the part here where. See, what did I do with that other part? Take it. Oh, what's the use? Mm. Maybe there's something I can get to make you more comfortable. Well, uh, maybe a pillow. Man, you're driving me out of my mind. I can hear the speed and I'm so tired. It'll take a bum to rise me to my feet. I'll bust one under you someday. Get up, we got to play. Oh, well, right, yeah. What you gonna be? I'll, I'll take this, I'll play this. Yeah. Carry this with me. Come on, let's play. seen in my life. I've never seen nothing like you. Louis and my talent and everything, everything my colleagues would do. Don't put that bomb under me, Speed Simmons. A bomb? Yes. Yeah. A bomb! Ah! Don't give me that thing here, man. Look, hey, look out, Joe. That thing won't ah! Must have been dreaming, boys. About a bomb. Brother, that wasn't no dream. There was a bomb. There was? Yeah. Where is it? I put it out in the alley. How, how, how far from the alley? Way out in the alley. Clever Johnson, these monkey shines have got to what? stop. Get up on the stand. Come on. All right. That's right. Get, Get up on the stand. I'll give you all one more chance. Come on, let's play. One, two, three. Bomb found in Progress Hall. Rumors of threats against Paul Wilkins. Greg, suppose something had happened to him. Friends, I've called a special meeting 
so that we can show our enemies that we are not afraid of them. You got it? Yeah. You keep your eyes on me. When I give you the nod, you shoot and don't you miss. I won't. That bomb that was placed in here could have killed some of us. No. It could have wrecked this hall. Yes, sir. But that ain't all. That ain't the worst. That bomb and the enemies that placed it here could have destroyed all the good we're going to do. But they can't stop us, can they? No. We're going straight ahead, shoulder to shoulder, and do our good work. Friends, I've asked Mr. Montu, whom you all know, to come up on the platform and talk to us. Tonight, friends, I can call you fellow Americans, something that I never had the right to say before. I'm a citizen now. I have no words to tell you how much this means to me. You tell them, Mr. Wilkins. Montu. Do being American mean that you're against people who put bombs in meeting places? That's what I mean, sir. And do you mean that being an American, you're against those who think only of themselves? That's right, sir. And is being an American, being ready to work, and being ready to fight for the good of all of us? to get this note, so I took it. Oh, Greg, if we'd only gotten here a half hour sooner. Brace up, darling. You can't blame yourself for this. Somebody's got to break the news to Hattie and Paul. Come on, Ola. We might as well go over to the meeting hall now. What do you think? Marshal, we can't go through with this. You do as you're told. Backing out, eh? Why, it would be a shame if somebody else could sit with me. How did you get here? Jim, Rosalia left this note for you. For me?
Jim Braxton, of all people. I didn't mean no harm. Oh, forgive me. We'll stick with you from now on, Pa. Now I know what you're fighting for. It's for the future, children. Your future. Our future. And the future of our race. 